Good morning. Let's get this thing on first thing. Wait, where is my stuff? I don't know what happened. All right. Cut it on. Yeah. I remember to do yesterday. We made it back here to a job site today. We're gonna wait for inspections. Maybe run a little bit of conduit, a little two inch. And uh, yeah, get her back filled and looking pretty. Concrete prep done. Throw some of the porch there yonder. Garage, back patio. So yeah, let's get her done. Put our sewers on an air test. Just supposed to hold five pounds for 15 minutes. I put it at six, just because then I'm, I'm an overachiever, I guess. But we'll see if that one holds for 15 minutes. And if it does, it's gonna stay on test till the inspector gets here, but my pump. So um let's go get that one on test. So we're gonna test this one right here. Since that one's uh, the same uh right. roof line, it'll catch that right there. Uh, yeah, we have no good choice because there's rock on the face. We're gonna be stone on the face, so yeah, they would rather have it right there. I mean, I don't know how far back the stone's gonna be going, but I mean, that's catch two roof lines. I don't think it wraps, I think it's just the front. So, okay, well, I was wanting to see if it went up to the post. Some of the things you gotta keep an eye on. That down spout right there is right in the walkway, but there's nothing we can do about it. Huh. We got a jogger, America. <laughs> so we got inspections yesterday on power. So now we can fill this in with rock got a gas line in the orange cable conduit well, that's the um the two inch right there you can see right there is um the local fiber company so they like a two inch hard pipe not just you know the orange conduit which we usually use but yeah we're gonna get her all filled in with gravel this whole hole is getting filled in with gravel because we got to get a truck back there to haul some dirt so, uh, let's get started filling in this hole new little bucket new ish it was off a different machine with different had a wedge pin but or a wedge uh coupler but had some welders uh weld up the new i like to call it a head but new pins on it got her all nice and welded up pretty she's gonna go on that machine way way over there that 312 way over there yeah pretty let's see how she rolls guys out real quick just get their job done all that trash I moved yesterday I'm gonna put it in uh in there for them we got we got them holes filled in and uh gas line covered we're gonna make a path through here for a truck to get in and start dumping dirt stacking dirt and dumping it we need a lot between these two houses so anyway we're gonna go eat some lunch and uh Hop to it like that. <laughs> Crazy guy. Yeah. Here we go. We'll see you in a few. Time for new filters on 312. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, I think it's time. I think it's time. Outer. Inner. Uh, I should probably open the boxes before I do this one handed. It's not that hard to check them either every day or every other day. Especially if you're in dry conditions, you might want to check them every day. A little dusty. Preventative maintenance. It's not hard. So now we're going to handle a little bit in this backyard. If this 312 cooperates, I think she's either got a her SRC filters plugged or something's going on with the fuel filter because she is at a complete loss of power and she's dying every once in a while. So I think she's got a clogged fuel issue or uh, one of those SRC filters. Oh, emissions thing, I, I, I think it is. Uh, well, yeah, 
So we're gonna do what we can on this and uh, we'll probably call it a day after that. We got Frank over there, back filling trenches. And then he's gonna work on that one over there. Get him out of the cold for a little bit. By the way, it's snowing. It's pretty cold. bucket on this thing she can move some dirt I'm just throw it over here until I can get over there and... uh, start grading everything out We can't do too much because we haven't got our soakage trench inspection yet. They want the raw inspection and then they want the rock and pipe inspection, yada yada. So we're just kind of waiting on that to handle that. Well, in the meantime, we'll just move dirt. Thing, it's another. It's snowing pretty good, but it ain't sticking. 2021 Kia Sportage for just $99 a month or buying finance at 0% 72 months at the only West Side Kia dealer, Bob Len Fears, Beaver. What's up, you guys? So we made it back to the shop today. It started snowing pretty good where we were at. And uh, yeah, the boss made us call it. We couldn't really see the dig. It was just flurries everywhere, snow everywhere. So, um, yeah. So, if you guys like what you see today, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.